Well, I'm headed to look for fossils in a ditch right here in Alpena. There are a ton of little tiny fossils in this ditch. Lots of little brachiopods. There's some crinoids. And it's about three minutes from my house. Let's go take a look. So that's Thunder Bay River right there across the road and it was under the bridge of course. I don't know if you can see it over here. And this is my fossil hunting spot. Kind of a well-known spot for fossils. disc right there. Some more up there. Actually they're all over the place. A little piece of coral right there. More little corals. They're just kind of thick in here. There's part of a brachiopod. It just rained yesterday a lot. So this is wet but it's also kind of washed down and Maybe expose some new ones. Not sure what that is, but it's kind of cool. There's a neat little brachiopod. Really well formed here. Light a little better. A little bit of detail on that crinoid disc. A bigger piece of coral. Coral. Now the fossils here are very small. That little guy. And they're just in mud. So it's not the kind of thing where you have to really clean them up too much. Sometimes I find these spiky little things that someone told me are sea urchin spines, not this. Um, maybe I'll find one. I'm not sure if that's true or not. taken these home in the past but they end up just getting put in a box somewhere and I never look at them again so I figure what's the point in taking them home but I thought you might like seeing them I don't know what that is It's 
little corals down here. So you don't want to bring a shovel here. I wouldn't be able to pick rocks here very long if you start destroying this place. So I just wait for it to rain and that exposes some new stuff. And I'm pretty gentle about what I take out. A big, big chunk. to clean these up when I have stuff a little more stuck on it like that. I'll soak them in water then I put them in the freezer for a few hours and then I take them out and uh, thaw them out and scrub them up and the freezing and thawing sometimes makes the stuff kind of pop off. They're pretty good without even doing that. Oops. My daughter find, found enough of these little crinoid discs to make a whole bracelet out of when she was younger. The detail on that. Even the inside. Piece of pomegranate. Don't find those every day. More pomegranate. They no, do not grow in Michigan. My wife and son don't like coming here with me because these cars going by. I have no idea what I'm doing in this ditch. I don't really care. Just found one of those little spiky things I was talking about right there. Somebody told me these are sea urchin spines, but I have no idea if that's true. So if you know, say something in the comments, please. That's a cool crinoid disc. I'm 
gonna head across the road, take a little closer look at the river, and then right over there, there is what used to be an old quarry, I guess. At least that was what I was told. It's not very deep. This is SciTech Park. This is the Thunder Bay River, runs through Alpena, dumps into Lake Huron. There's a bike trail here, but I'm going to take you over to what I was told is an old quarry. All right, I was just across the road there by the Jeep and the ditch, and now I'm here. Uh, they're putting up one of the biggest buildings in Alpena, that the building that's going up over there is a credit union. This is also a credit union up closer here. And this little marshy area down here, I've heard was an old quarry. A very deep quarry, uh, but there is limestone in the bottom. You can actually see there's limestone laying on the ground all over the place. And where there's limestone in Alpena, there's usually fossils. You can see that's got some sort of fossil design to it. There's a coral, a little coral, or maybe bryozoan. as well here as I do across the road in the ditch. Where I do find stuff sometimes is right along the edges here. Making this stuff. These are little brachiopods. Back at the Jeep. It's enough fossil hunting for one day. Didn't bring anything home with me. I like to keep my fossil collection right here. Hey, if you like this video, uh, think about subscribing. I'll have more videos with fossil hunting, uh, other rock collecting, polishing rocks, making stuff out of rocks, anything rock related. See you next time.